Welcome to an AI data center where you can hear this is what it's talking about right now. and feel this can blow dry my hair. The power. The AI is in there. By 2028, data centers like this across the country could use 12% of all U.S. electricity, enough to power more than 55 million homes for a year. And yes, you are increasing that energy. Every time you hit enter on an AI prompt, it's routed through places like this. Okay, let's start with tracing this prompt. Create a video of a dancing steak. The moment you hit enter, that request gets routed to a place like this massive building I visited in Ashburn, Virginia, AKA Data Center Alley. When your prompt arrives at the data center, it kicks off inference, the process where the model thinks and responds to your request. Rows of powerful GPUs generate your request. In this case, the dancing steak. Back to my question, how much energy am I using every time I make that single image or video? So I plugged in this handy power meter to the grill, cranked up the heat, and threw a pretty thin steak on. Oh yeah. If you're generating text, that could burn anywhere from 0.17 watt hours to two watt hours, equal to running this grill for about four seconds. Generating an image, add 1.7 watt hours. All that less than 10 seconds on the grill. But short videos can use far more power. In tests of various open source models, videos took anywhere between 20 watt hours and 110 watt hours. At 110 watt hours, one steamed electric grill steak, about equal to uh, one video generation. I wouldn't need it, but my dog would. At 220 watt hours, it was looking much more edible. So two video generations equals one pretty good looking steak. That might not sound like much power, until you consider the short film we made using Google VO and Runway. We generated 1,008 second 720p clips for our film. Going by these estimates, we might have used roughly 110,000 watt hours. That's enough to grill around 478 steaks, or power an average US home for three and a half days. But energy isn't the only concern. Water is used in big quantities to cool these hot GPUs. So what did we learn here today? Certainly that AI and GPUs draw huge amounts of power. And as AI demand grows, so will the size and number of these data centers. We saw several new ones already under construction in Data Center Alley. But the big question, is it worth it? Is that one silly video worth the same energy it takes to make a meal or charge a laptop? But it's not all fun and viral videos. That big GPU cluster we saw, it belongs to Bristol Myers Squibb, and it's being used to discover new drugs. 